Hi, my name is Steve. I'm with Dana Manufacturing, and today we're going to be presenting an instructional video on how to replace a broken or damaged impeller assembly in a mag drive pump. Uh, the pump we have here today is a Model 12, and the first thing we're going to do is remove the screws from the volute. There happens to be six screws on this particular model. On the smaller model pumps, there are only four screws that hold the volute on. In either case, all the screws need to be removed in order to get to the impeller assembly. We prefer this operation to be done using a, a hand screwdriver rather than a power-driven screwdriver. Um, not so much for the removal of the screws, but certainly for the reinstallation of the screws. Remember, we're working with ABS plastics, and if you drive it in too hard, you're obviously going to strip it out without having to set your torque settings. But we have the six screws removed. We now remove the volute. What will come out with the volute is the entire impeller assembly. We're going to remove that impeller assembly from the volute. While the volute is open on some of the larger pumps, you'll see a rubber flapper. Make sure that's still in good condition. The impeller assembly consists of your magnets, two bushings that the impeller assembly rides on, a shaft, which is either going to be ceramic or stainless steel, and there are also some washers placed on each side of the interior surfaces of the bushings. Now, to replace the broken impeller assembly with the new assembly, now that we have the broken impeller assembly removed, we can see that one of the vanes have been broken off, and that could be due possibly to uh, some debris that, have gone in, that has gone into the volute, or a rock, or, or something else has caused this vein to break off. So what we're going to do now is put our broken impeller assembly aside, and we'll replace it with the new impeller assembly. Now we're going to be replacing our broken impeller with the new impeller assembly. What we have at the face of the pump is an O-ring that goes around the housing and that keeps the water from getting outside of the volute once the volute's fastened. So before the volute is placed back on and the impeller assembly reinstalled, we want to take a thin film of silicone grease and just apply it to the surface of the O-ring. Don't use any other grease other than silicone. Don't use a petroleum-based grease as it'll deteriorate the oil. Now we simply reinstall the impeller assembly. There's a bushing on each side of the impeller assembly and there's a hole at the base of the housing. Carefully grab the magnets as you slide the impeller assembly in, because of the magnetic field and the coil that's inside the housing, you're going to feel a slight pulling effect. Hold on to the impeller assembly carefully, drop it all the way in, making sure the bushing is inside the cavity of the housing. Now take your volute, making sure again that the bushing on the impeller assembly fits into the cavity on the volute. Press the volute back on so that the mounting holes line up and start to drop your screws in once again. Take a manual screwdriver. Again, you don't want to use a driver on this, a battery-driven driver, because 
you may drive it down too hard and possibly strip out the screws. Alternate the screws going down about three quarters of the way on each screw as you're tightening it so that the volute gets seated onto the housing. And just keep going in a crisscross pattern as you're tightening down the screws. And just snug them up. You don't want to drive them all the way home just yet. And now that all your screws are snugged up, give them one last little tightening. And make sure you do get all six or all four on the smaller pumps. And that completes the installation of the new impeller assembly on the mag drive pumps.